Well, today is a wonderful day to go out and shoot some medium format. Of course, we're gonna be using the Fujifilm GFX 50S Mark II. I'm excited to use this one right now because I haven't really gotten to use it just to walk around and take some photos. Been used it more in a controlled environment or you know, my wife's used it more. So it's gonna be kind of fun to be able to go ahead, take some portraits and capture some things and bring you guys along with us. This is the first spot in our location that we wanted to take some photos that we could use the little man-made river because it had some nice leading lines to use this camera as efficiently as possible to take some portraits to get started. I wanted to use a little bit of the leading lines and as well as a little bit of the lights for bokeh and background just to add some separation of the subject to get some photos to get creatively going as I just eased my way into taking some photos. We started walking around and just wanted to see what else we could find and I stumbled upon this section right here that I saw a little bit of a frame within those lights in the background of the trees with a door and the windows. So I just wanted to try to get a little bit of photos of her and you know help her out with posing a little bit to figure out what I wanted to just test out with. The first things with this was just to get a little bit of a wider shot and as well then just do a little bit of a look up shot to maybe do a fill kind of type of photo to put into a set that I wanted to do. But I still want to get a little bit lower just to make sure that I got everything covered and simply as well do one little establishing shot of the location because it just looked nice. So we kept walking around, we found a new location right here with this little waterway area. I just wanted to have her sit down on the side as we use a little bit of the green of the scenery as well as the leading lines that were just nicely making the portrait look a lot nicer. I just kind of stumbled upon things as we kept walking around and I just wanted to test out different angles, move around and see if there was anything that would capture my eye. But honestly, I just kind of came back to this section right here because the leading line of the kind of edge of the the bench area of the sidewalk area just looked very nice to get some portraits of her that I was happy with. Texture is something that we need always in our lives guys. And that is very true. Texture just adds a lot of dimensions to a story set of photos. And that's something that I wanted to do when it came down to capturing some just photos of these plants right here. There was just so much texture. And with the higher megapixel of this camera, it just makes a lot of sense to try to get some nice photos where I can get that texture, crop in if needed, and just do a little bit of kind of like a filler type of photo when needed whenever I'm doing a story set. So I went ahead and just simply started going above and trying to get some different angles of the plans as they kind of look nice because it was just really good to get different angles of it since I want to get up close and just try to find something but something very funny happened right here as I was capturing these photos that you're about to see we had this nice guy just running looking back but sorry dude couldn't get your photo Now we're here at a nice section of the woodlands. There's a nice little bit of a bridge with the river that just has a lot of leading lines that we can take good photos, whether it's portraits or anything that I've done a couple of times as I keep walking around. But we wanted to keep it with the theme of doing some portraits. And this time I wanted to do a little bit of something different. I wanted to have her just kind of post a little bit just up against the railing as I took photos of just her, whether it was a little bit more wider and up closer, but as well do a little bit of detail shots as if it was something more of editorial kind of work just because I just simply wanted to do something different I wanted to have fun with it take photos of the environment and everything but then see if I could do a little bit of portraits that just felt like it could be for a magazine or something just because it was fun whether I nailed it or not I mean to be honest it's just more experimenting and having fun with it but that's the ultimate goal when it comes down to going out to just simply taking photos and especially with a medium format doesn't hurt to just go experiment and have fun with it because this camera just really makes it that creatively possible.
As we were walking back, to be honest, I'm not really sure what captured my eye here, but I wanted to go ahead and take photos through the window. I just noticed that it just looked aesthetically pleasing, the light was hitting nicely, the colors just look right, and I just wanted to go ahead and take photos in this location. The stairwell just looked nice, it had a little bit of symmetry, had a little bit of leading lines, and as well as just cool reflections off of it. And I try to work with the polarizer from Shore Stash and Polar Pro with the everyday filter to see what I can capture through. Had a lot of cool little sections that I just thought that were nice and I wanted to go ahead and just capture anything I could from this location that I was drawn to. And I think it turned out pretty cool. I was glad that I stopped and captured these photos. So let me know what you think of these ones. One of the things that lately it's nice to just do is go ahead and pick a random camera of mine just to go out and commit to shooting and taking photos whatever captures my attention whether it's just a little stairwell or taking portraits of my wife just to get out of the house a little bit here in the summer it's kind of hard to do because it does get rather hot and i'm already suffering right now just walking a bit so it kind of sucks well we are done taking some photos we're just walking back to the car because it is rather hot and I'm gonna sit in some comfortable AC in the car to give some final thoughts for you guys. As we were making our way back into the car, as my dad would used to say is, who parked my car in the wrong place, right? Because obviously I couldn't just not take photos of these amazing luxury cars. To me, having these cars just be there when getting to shoot through the window was fine. I mean, obviously one day I'm gonna be shooting some good photos for them, hopefully so. At least, uh, you know, that's the ultimate goal of taking photos and maybe tagging the location so they can see my work. But just having these photos of this location was really cool having the Ferraris the Porsche I know people are gonna say it's Porsche but I still love saying Porsche better come fight me otherwise but the Ferraris just look very cool and I just thought it was just great to be able to capture some photos of amazing looking luxury cars and I think for being through the window I think I pretty much nailed these shots and you can let me know your thoughts as well for these ones And we're back inside the car because it is too hot outside that I was just, you know, shoo, dripping sweat. My car said it was like 96, 97 Fahrenheit. Not the most exciting thing to have when you're walking around. And to be honest, I just wore pants because it's fashion, but regrettable fashion right now with the heat. But anyways, I thought it was a lot of fun just to get out of the house to take photos because I felt like I haven't taken photos in a bit and i just felt like it was a beautiful day outside since we had a lot of rain the last few weeks and it just made sense to go out to take photos with the medium format i wanted just to take photos of anything i mean it's a thoughtless kind of i don't want to say video in that aspect but just a thoughtless kind of motion to just go out to take photos of anything because it just feels good and i've said it before in, in videos that i've made previously about how to use your camera the right way is just simply go out to take photos and have fun with it for me this was it. I was just wanting to go use the medium format since I don't get to use it as often really. And I wanted to just take some fun photos for me that will look good because obviously Fuji's GFX line of cameras just have really great output. And it's a lot of fun for me just to keep kind of messing around, even though it's a little bit slower, it just makes me take my time with it and enjoy the process. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, you know, the, the video itself. I just got to take some photos. Hope you like the photos. And if you have any questions about this camera ever, I want to do a more in-depth kind of review of it eventually just to see what I've been liking, what I don't like, and if it's worth it for the money or not. So if you have any questions about this camera ever, leave them down below as I would love to kind of test it out to see what I can figure out for you guys too as I figure out for myself to eventually do a more in-depth review on the camera just because it's fun. I mean, I think like it's always nice to see what cameras can do and what they cannot do because everybody's going to have questions when it comes down to gear reviews and everything like that. Like I said, the reason why I like doing gear reviews as well in another video is just because it helps me out to learn more about the product, but also it can help other people out because I know other people might be interested in it. And I know that's why you can get views and everything from it, but at the same time, it's just helpful, which is something that I even look out for when I'm trying to see if I want to get something. So yeah, leave me a comment down below and we'll 
kind of go test it out and see what happens. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.